Mindset, Philippians 3.13. Forgetting what is behind our sins lies, mindset on earthly things and people, and straining towards what is ahead, mindset on God, God, God. I press on towards the go, go to win, win the prize in heaven, for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. All of us who are mature in God and mindset on God, but to those who are mindset on our sins, lies, earthly things, and people, childish ways, their destiny is destruction. In the world's dark step forever, their mind is on earthly things and people. That means dies forever, but our citizenship's in heaven, in Christ Jesus. Has transformed our lowly bodies so that they will be like his glorious bodies, Colossians 3. Since then you have been raised with Christ, you set your hearts to love first on things above. Where Christ seated at the right hand of God, set your minds on things above, not on earthly things and people to lust and worship. For you have died with Christ Jesus, and your life is now hidden with Christ and God. Put you dead, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, mindset, sexual morality, impurity, lust, evil desires, greed, things in abundance, which are the tree of the devils. Because of these, the wrath of God is come, is here. God's curse, they'll end, die in the world's dark set forever. But to those who are mindset on God to love for their worship, our citizenships in heaven, our mature in God and His Spirit, righteousness and truth, we'll live with God in His kingdom of eternal life. Amen. Amen. Hey, pardon me, I got a lot going on today. The morning's almost gone. I gotta get on the riverfront and sing and drop this off. And I gotta have, we're gonna have a barbecue later on, me and my family, so I gotta hurry here. I got a lot going on. Time's really going by fast. Okay, this one's called True Meaning of Life is God. True meaning of life is God. Life. 
my first song, so pardon me. Okay, everybody, I got a lot going on today, so pardon me. I'm all excited. I want to see y'all again. I haven't really seen y'all in, what, two years, basically, since the coronavirus started. Honey, no one's been showing up. I hope y'all show up today on the riverfront. So I got a lot going on today, so pardon me. Hey, I'm Pastor Marshall, Lowe's Fish World Plex, Bless is Christ Jesus, the Lord's Supper so Sunday, so I'll be ready. I had a lesson on this a while back, but it's also for the newcomers. Okay, Philippians 3.13. Forgetting what is behind our sins lies, mindset on earthly things of people, and strain towards, towards what is ahead, mindset on God. I press on towards the go to win, win, win the prize in heaven, for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. All of us who are mature in God, mindset on God, but to those who are mindset on our sins, lies, or do things to people, childish ways, their destiny is destruction in the world's dark death forever. Their minds are earthly things and people that ends dies forever, but our citizenship is in heaven, and Christ Jesus has transformed our lowly bodies, so they would be like his glorious body. Colossians 3, since then you have been raised with Christ Jesus. Set your hearts to love first on things above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God himself. Set your minds on things above, not on earth things people to love some worship. For you have died, died, died with Christ Jesus, and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. Put your death there for whatever belongs to your earthly nature, mindset, sexual morality, impurity, lust, evil desires, greed, things, and abundance, which are idolatry of the devils. Because of these wrath of God, God's coming is not here, and God's curse. They will end, die in the world, starts death forever. But to those who are mindset on God, to love Him first and worship our citizenships, to live for unto Him, righteous verse like Him. Our citizenships in heaven, as we worship certain Him as I wrote to God, and mature in God, and His spirit, righteousness, and truthful in Him, will live forever with God in this kingdom of eternal life. Amen. Okay, now God knows where your heart to love and mind. To thank, serve, worship, say, and do live for and by, to obey, abide from, belongs to choose, or where we will end on his eternal judgment day, to those in heart, love first him. Mind, thanks, serve, worship him, as I wrote to God, to say, speak his two words, to his right choice, we're wise in God. We're living, live for to him, righteous, spiritual, like him, godly, he's all we need, satisfy us, to obey, abide from. Him to God, choose Him, Lord, living, have His light and spirit you know, that lives in us and fills us out all we need, satisfies on His church judgment. We hear God's kingdom treasure, love, life, peace, joy forever and in His new holy city. But to those who in heart love first themselves or thanks to people, minds to thank, to choose, worship, to say and do the wrong ones, unwise, the badness, to live for and bind like them. Worldly to be buying from, it belongs to choose possession, purpose, buying from no one, desires, craves, and lusts for more. They do not satisfy you because they don't feel you inside. You're dying. This world's darkness has you. You're an outer sinner, or liar, and God's curse is truly upon you, and you end dying in the grave's dark death forever. Amen. Okay, and I haven't said this for a few weeks. I should be dead three times. Twice I had tumors, once I had new death experience. The last time I had tumors, I got down to my hands and knees and prayed, cried, meditate, fast, scream for days. And tell God, I tell the real God's truth and made him a promise. I have a contract with him. My strong faith in God healed me. My tumors disappeared. This is the real God's truth. And when I had no death experience, I saw both heaven, Jesus, and hell, the devil. So there are both places. Yes, there are. Amen. Okay, now this week's word is perseverance means persistence in doing something despite a difficulty or delay in achieving success. Okay, now ask yourself, ask yourself. I used to run a people, people of God. It's a truthful and logical question. If you are a servant of people, yourself thinks people comes first to love, serve, master, worship. Are like them worldly, best friends with, belong to, choose, home, to say to do, live from, by them, and be by them, from, idle sins, lies, trust in, believe in, you're worldly like them, you're truly digging your own grave, dying, it's sicknesses, weaknesses, possession, prayers, by from, young ones, is ours, 
that saying the darkness of the world has you it's craves and lust for and you truly and die in a, your own grave the world's dust dark set forever or the end of time the lake of fire but if you are truly a servant of God God comes first to love us loves true meaning because he created love and he first loved and loves us so our master to worship as a root to God we are like God God is spiritual spiritual who's unseen he lives in us all when he feels us I belong to choose say and speak his true words do his right choices to be abide from God in his true words he's our faithful best friend we are the living has light spirit he's our cure and strength in God trust him believe in strong faith in him and we're to live with God himself in his kingdom our home to such as treasure riches love life peace joy spirits forever with God and at the end of time his new holy city Mount Zion live forever amen okay now we have choice that comes at us all the time we are to ask for saying and doing what would Jesus Christ say and do and say and do the true and right ones for and through him we are righteous truth and spiritual like him as we love him first to worship to live for and to belong to to follow he's our leader goes before us to please press devoted to to plead on rely on believe strong faith and so we'll pass pass him pass him towards an everlasting life with him and his kingdom eternal life amen okay now this week's Bible verse is Psalm 73 1 surely God is good to Israel God's righteous people to those who are pure in heart God's love okay now remember what we get from a tree we get air money buildings furniture etc but you are not to worship a tree 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 to lesser than worship for God's fires kindles lit for the altar sinners and liars those who worship a tree or idols themselves to love servant worship or things of people would be consumed burned in God's fire or anger forever but to those who are pure and are refined in God our God's righteous will be protected those who loves him first serve worship him and lives with him in his new holy city of Mount Zion lives forever this, this real God's truth amen okay now I've called the bookstores again they are still not doing book signing to published authors right now due to the coronavirus and it's been about a year since I've called before and I was in the St. Patrick's Day Parade like I told you last week I forgot about it and did not register in time they didn't have it the past two years because of the coronavirus and they usually send me the registration form but I'll be in the 4th of July's parade at Bradley University if they have it this year due to the coronavirus I'll let you know then the coronavirus has changed again into BA2 variant and I've gotten the permission form to fill out and drop off money to sing at the Peoria's Courthouse this spring the summer but I'll post it for another two weeks give me a chance to look at it and stuff and I'll let you know that when I'll be there to sing okay now I'm on chapter four my next book I'm writing okay now are you on the what your way home fire from this world's darkness and death buying from the things people to love first serve what you say do live for and buy for and buy no one start such pleasure crazy unless you for one they do not satisfy to make you happy because they don't feel inside you belong to them you're worldly like them it's ways then this is your home you're dying the darkness has you in dying the world's graves dust are death forever but if God's light and life lives in you to love first serve worship him to say and speak his true words and do his right choice to live one through him we're like him God righteous spirit he feels outside all we need satisfies us his spirit light lives in us the spirit of spirit we're li -li -li living and we're on our way home towards God's kingdom treasures possessions love life and spirits forever with God himself amen now okay now this we show us this for everyone is fiction and non-fiction books now non-fiction books are true and fiction books are not true made up but God's holy bible is not is excuse me but God's holy bible is non-fiction true it teaches us everything in Genesis 1 and 2 in the beginning was darkness nothing everyone took God himself created the heavens earth us he even gave us our first breath of life here's our breath of life as his breath of life lives in us he lives in us through the spirit that lives in us as we are like him godly righteous spirit as light and through the spirit God's love peace joy etc lives in us 
And this goodness fills us all. He's all we need. Satisfy us. Truth makes happy as we speak his true words, do his right choice, ways, will, constitutions, will, wise in God. As Holy Bible teaches us, we'll bear by from his true words, commands, and commandments in Acts 20. Grace commands in Mark 12, 29, 31. Laws, decrees, precepts, statutes to love God first. As he first loved, loved us, he created love as love's true meaning. Act we love us beyond of all others. Relationship with first, promise and vows to first. To serve master <clears throat> in Luke 16, 13, 15. To worship as a real to God and faithful best friend. As people and things from the Holy Bible still live in today's world as we are his righteous people tribe. Israelites, children, and disciples as the Holy Bible teaches us. We are to pray and give Jesus Christ our sins out of lives. We love serving and worship to his cross. He suffered and died on Good Friday and rose on Easter. We we are to cross over from the world's graves, dark death, and rise to his life, lighten him. To love, serve, follow, he's the leader that goes for us. God's our Heavenly Father, Creator, God, God, Lord. And greater, our King, ruler over us to one. Please press to vote to, to hang on, rely on. He means the most comes first, even before ourselves. God's power, miracles, beauty are everywhere. As we see in here, born through him, his true words. And see his powers, miracles, beauty is everywhere. We have connection in him. To him, as we need God all the time, he lives in us. We're strangers here, just passing through here for a short time. We trust in God, believe in that strong faith in him. He's our strength, shelter, armor. We put on the former God of visions. 18 from the devil's idol since life comes to us all the time to love some worship the things and people or ourselves to come before God himself that cause death and dark to side our soul that lives in us ends dies in the world's grace that's our death forever and we'll make it so we'll make it on his eternal judgment day we'll live with God himself in his kingdom our home treasures possession promise of love life peace joy spirit forever and at the end of time we'll live with God himself in his new horse in Mount Zion forever as the Holy Bible teaches that God's truth that's non-fiction. Amen, amen. Okay, now, it's time for the Lord's Supper. I take mine every morning. Pardon me, I'm thirsty. I'm trying to hurry. The morning's gone already. 1 Corinthians 11, 22, 26. For whenever you eat this bread, Jesus' body, and drink the cup of grape juice, Jesus blooded, you proclaim the Lord Jesus' death on the wooden cross. For our sins, our lies. <clears throat> We prayed and given them to Jesus' cross. They've died with him. We've crossed over from the world's graves, dark as death. And rose saved in Christ Jesus to his life, like in him. And been reborn, new, purified, cleansed, living new and better life. Everlasting life of Christ Jesus to love us to follow. He's the leader who goes for us to follow before us. Therefore, when you eat this bread, Jesus' body, drink a cup of grape juice, Jesus' blood, and we way. You haven't prayed and given Jesus your sins out of life. You just say do them will be guilty of sin against Jesus Christ and eternal judgment that you'll end die in the world's darkest death forever. Yes, you will. The person not to examine the person's self does not sin anymore before taking the bread, Jesus' body, and the cup of grape juice, Jesus' blood. Without recognizing the blood and body of Jesus Christ, judgment on the person's self. This is why many of you are weak and sick, weak and sick. By and from through your sins, idols, lies, and number you have fallen asleep in the graves until Jesus Christ comes again at the end of time. As righteous and faithful will live forever in his new holy city on Mount Zion. But they, the outer sinners and liars, will burn, burn, burn the lake fire with the world, our sinners and liars forever. For what I received from the little Lord Jesus on the night he was betrayed, he took bread, broke it, and said, and given thanks. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your body and blood. He said, take eat, take eat. This is my body given to members of me in the same way he took the cup of grape juice and said take drink take drink this is my blood given to members of me the new covenant now bow your heads and pray to the lord jesus thanks to him in silence okay now let's pray the lord's prayer matthew 6 9 13 and luke 11 2 4 our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespass. We forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is kingdom, power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Okay. Pardon me. I think I'm supposed to get back up in the 60s today. Supposed to be pretty nice, I think, all week, pretty much. But the weather's changeable, so. Genesis, God Himself. 
flooded the earth because the earth's altar sinners and liars covered the earth. Amen, amen. And on the flood. Amen there, so don't forget that. Pardon me. And people were trying, excuse me. And people were trying to build a tower towards he heaven, excuse me. So God started other languages and they stopped building the tower because they couldn't understand each other. Started other languages. In Genesis 11. Joseph dreams, he interpreted dreams. He was God's righteous and faithful in Genesis 41. Next is three. God spoke to Moses, God's faithful and righteous in a burning bush, Exodus 3, remember that as well. We are to bear by him from Exodus 20, God's Ten Commandments, yes we are, amen, amen. To bear and bear by from. Okay, he brought me to Leviticus 18.1.6. Said to Moses, God's faith, for I speak to the Israelites, God's people, say to them, I am the Lord your God. You must not do as they do in Egypt where you live. Usually, you must not do as they do in the land where I am bringing you. Do not follow their practices. You must obey my laws and be careful to follow my decrees. I am the Lord your God. Keep them, will live by them. I am the Lord your God. That's right. Amen. Amen. There. Deuteronomy 11, 26, 28. See, I'm sent before you today a blessing and a curse to bless if you obey the commands of the Lord your God I'm giving you today. And the cur cur curse if you disobey the commands of the Lord God. And turn from the way I command you today by following another God out of sin's lies. You are cursed by from them. Yes, you are. Amen, amen. And Joshua 1, 5. I will not leave you. I will never leave you or forsake you. Verse 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous for unto God. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Remember that. Amen. And he never leaves us or forsakes us. He's always here for us. He's a faithful and ever caring and loving God. You're prostituting yourself to other God all sins lies to lest everyone worship them instead of God himself. Judges 2 17. Yes, you are. You're prostituting yourself. 1 Corinthians 29 10 13. Pardon me. <clears throat> Day praise God's love, the Lord, in the presence of the host semi saying, Praise God's love to you, O Lord, God of our Father Israel, from everlasting to everlasting, yours, O Lord. It's the greatness and the power and the glory and the majesty and the splendor for everything in heaven and on earth is yours. Yours, O Lord, is the kingdom. You are exalted as head over all. Wealth and honor comes from you. You are the ruler of all things in your hands. Strength, power, so I'll give strength to all in our God. We give you thanks and praise God's love and glorious name. But who am I? Who are my people that we should be able to give as generally as this? Everything comes from you. And we have given you only what comes from you, 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 your hands. We are alien strangers here. Yes, we are in your sight. Yes, we are. We have to live as alien strangers here. We don't belong here. Our home is in his kingdom. Turn like where we belong. As were our forefathers on the day, earth are like a shadow without hope. Oh, Lord, our God, as all the abundance that we have, provided for building you a temple of your holy name it comes from your hands and all it belongs to you i know my god that you test the hearts of love god or pleasing with integrity all these things have i have given willingly and will on its tent and now i have seen with joy grace right with god's love be joy how willingly your people who are here have given to you, O Lord, Lord God of our Father Abraham, Isaac, and Israel. God's faithful rights. Keep this desires in our heart, God's love of your people forever, and to keep your hearts, God's love, loyal to you. And give my son Solomon, who are really devoted to keep your commands, your requirements, and decrees to everything to build the pollution structure. I provide. Then David, God's favor, to the whole assembly, praise God's love. 
the Lord your God. So all oh, praise God, so love the Lord, the Lord, the fathers. They bow low and fell prostrate before the Lord. The King, I'm in. Oh, he brought me that one. Okay. Pardon me, excuse me here. Okay, pardon me. Um, pardon me. Excuse me for a second here. Pardon me for one second here. Psalm 79, starting at verse 5. How long, O Lord, will you be angry forever? How long will your jealousy burn like fire? Pour out your wrath on the nations everywhere that do not acknowledge you on the kingdoms so that do not call on your name. For they have devoured Jacob, God's faithful and righteous, and destroyed his homeland. Do not hold against the sins of the fathers. May your mercy come quickly to meet us, for we are in desperate need. Help us, help us, O God, our Savior, for the glory of your name. Deliver us, forgive us our sins for your name's sake. Why should the nations say, Where is their God? Before our eyes make known among the nations that you avenge the outpoured blood of your servants. May the groans of the prisoners come before you by the strength of your arm. Preserve those condemned to die. Pay back the lapse of our neighbors seven times the reproach they have hurled as you, at you, O oh Lord. Then your righteous people, the sheep of people of your pasture flock, will praise God's love you forever. From generation to generation, we will recount your praise. God's love. Oh, you brought me that one. Okay, pardon me. Excuse me. He brought me to Jeremiah 7. These are two words. Came to Prophet Jeremiah, God's righteous and faithful. From the Lord. Stand the gate of the Lord's house and proclaim this message. Here the true words of the Lord, all you people of Judah where you live, come through these gates to worship the Lord's God. This is what the Lord Almighty says, the God of Israel. Reform your own ways, thou sins lies in your actions, wife and them, and I will let you live, live in this place. Do not trust in deceptive words, idle sins lies, and say, This is the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord. If you really change your own ways and your own actions, our sins lies and deal with each other justly for unto God. If you do not oppress the aliens and fatherless or the widows, and do not shed innocent blood in this place, and if you do not follow other gods since life to your own harm, you'll end die forever. Then I will let you live in this place in the land. I gave you a righteous faithful forefathers forever and ever. But look, you are trusting deceptive words out of sins lies that are worthless in dies forever. Will you, will you steal and murder, commit adultery, sexual moral and perjury, burn incense to bail out of sins lies and follow other gods out of sins lies you have not known? And then come and stand before me, me in this house, which bears my name and said, We are safe, safe. Do all these testable things, has this house, which bears my name, became a den of robbers from idle sins, life for you, love, serve, and worship to you, to you. But I have been watching, declares the Lord. Go not to the place where, where I will maybe dwell in my name and see what I did because of the wickedness, idle sins, lies of my people Israel. Why you were doing all these things, declares the Lord, I spoke to you again and again, but you did not listen, I called, but you did not answer, therefore, what shall I will now do to the house that bears my name, the temple you trust in, the place I gave to you and your fathers, I will thrust you from my presence, just as I did all your brothers and sisters, people who live from where you live. Do not pray for this people, nor offer any plea for them. Do not plead with me, for I will not listen to you. Do not see. Do you not see what they are doing in the towns of Judah where you live in the streets of Jerusalem? The people gathering wood, fathers build a fire, and the women need dough and make cakes. 
bread, the queen of heaven, they pour out drink offerings to other gods, idol sins, lies to provoke me to anger, but I the one, but am I the one they are provoking, declares the Lord Almighty? You are you not rather harming yourselves to yourself to your own shame. Therefore, this is what the seven Lord says. My anger and my wrath will pour out on this place. Um, people and beasts in the trees and the fields and on the fruits of the ground it will burn 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 and uh, be quenched this is what the Lord says the God of Israel go and make your burnt offerings to your other sacrifice since lies and eat the meat yourself for what I brought your forefathers out of Egypt from slavery and spoke to them I did not just give them commands about burnt offerings and sacrifice but I gave them this command obey me 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 and I will be your God, 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 and you will be my righteous people. Walk in all the ways I command you. Excuse me, that it may go well with you. But you did not listen or pay attention. Did you follow the stubbornness, inclinations of evil hearts, idols, sins, lies to lust and worship? You went, you kept backsliding, backsliding, and not forward, forward through God. But the time of your forefathers left Egypt until now, day after day, again and again, I sent you my righteous servant, the prophets, the prophets, but you did not listen to me, me, or pay attention. You were stiff-necked and did more evil, evil, evil than your forefathers. Yes, you do. When you tell them all this, you will now not listen. You will not listen. When you call to them, they will not answer. Therefore say to them, this is what the nations that has not obeyed the Lord, Lord is God or responded to correction for him through God. God's truth has perished. God's truth has perished. Yes, it has. It has. It has vanished from their lips. That's right, your lips. Cut out your hair, throw it away. Take up a laminate on the barren heights and the Lord, Lord has rejected and abandoned this generation that is over under his anger the people Jesus world has done evil in his eyes the curse of the Lord in his my eyes says the Lord you have set up detest vile sins and lies in the house that bears my name to less of what's vile sins and lies instead and have defiled it you have built high place to in the valley of gentlemen where you live burn sons of water on fire something I'd not command didn't that enter my mind so beware the days are coming, declares the Lord, when people will no longer call it on valley judgment, but valley slaughter, slaughter thou sins and liars, for they will bury the dead bodies there until there's no more room. The carcass of this. People become fit for the birds of the air and the beasts of the earth. Remember this, listen. And there will be no one to frighten them away, that's right. I will bring an end in to sounds of joy and gladness and the voice of bride and bridegrooms in the towns of Jerusalem, streets of Jerusalem where you live. For the land has become desolate. Amen, amen. That's right. Amen, amen. Jeremiah 10, the Lord God says, Do not learn the ways of the nation. I'll sins lies to let servant worship them and be like them because their customs are worthless. You and die forever by and from them. That's right. Yes, you will. Amen. Ezekiel 15. I haven't read this one for a while. Excuse me. My eyes are watering. My allergies always act every spring, so pardon me. The two words of the Lord came to me, son of man person. How is the wood of vine better than branch of any tree that in the forest? Is whatever taken from it to make anything useful? Money, buildings, furniture, etc., and pegs to hang things on. And if it is thrown to the fire and as few as burned, both ends charred in the middle, is it then useful for anything? If it's not used for anything, what it was still, if it was not useful for anything when it was hoe, how much less can it be into something useful when the fire has burned it and is charred? Therefore, this is what the Lord says, as short as I have given. The wood of the vine among the trees of the forest as fuel for the fire. So while I treat the people living in Jerusalem where you live, I will set 
my face against you. Although you have come out of the fire, 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 the fire will yet consume you. And when I set my face against you, you will know that I am the Lord God. I will make the land desolate because they have been unfaithful, 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 declares the servant of the Lord. That's right. If you don't want to serve and worship a tree, money, buildings, furniture, etc., store them up in abundance. And nope, nope, nope. That's right. Daniel, Daniel 6, Daniel in the lion's den, his strong faith in God protected him from the lions, Daniel 6. Okay, pardon me. Matthew 4, 4, G said, a person shall not live by bread alone, but on every two words that comes from the Lord God's mouth himself. Amen, amen, that's right. Disciples, Matthew 10, 1, Jesus gave them authority to drive out evil spirits and to heal every diseases and sicknesses. Amen. Remember, even Jesus got upset, Matthew 21, 12, and 13, because people were selling things in the temple court of the church. The church is only used for prayer and the true words of God. That's right. Yes, it is. Amen there. It's not used for anything else. Okay, pardon me here. Excuse me. Remember this as well. John 8, 42, 47. your father you will love me for I came from God now I'm here I have not come in my own says Jesus but he sent me why is my language words of truth not clear to you because you won't have to hear what I say says Jesus you belong to your father the devil the devil the devil buying from his idol sins lies to love serve and worship them and you want to carry out your father's desires he was a murderer from the beginning I hold to the truth for there is no truth in him when he lies, 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 lies. He speaks his native language, for he's a liar and the father of lies. Yet because I tell the truth of God, you do not believe me, says Jesus. Can you prove me guilty of sin? For I am telling the truth of God, so why don't you believe me? The person who belongs to God, God hears what God says. The reason you do not hear is that you do not belong to God himself. No, you don't. Jesus said, 12, John 14, 6, she says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. For unto him, no one comes to the Father God except through him. That's right. Amen, amen there. He's giving me a lot of Bible verses. I might not get them all done this week. Pardon me. Excuse me for a second here. And remember this as well. I haven't said this one for a few weeks. The accent for nature, obvious, sexual morality, impurity, bioterrality, witchcraft, hatred, score, jealousy, fits of rage, self-ambition, desertion, faction, envy, drunkenness, or is unlike I warned you as I did before. Those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. No, you won't. But the fruit of the Spirit is God's love, peace, joy, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentle self-control against such there is no law. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified, prayed, and let them die on his cross. The sinful nature with the past desire, since we live by the Spirit of God, let's keep in step with the Spirit of God, let's not become seen and broken each other. That's right. Amen, amen. Okay, this week's is Philippians 3.19. Pardon me, huh? Excuse me, I'm thirsty. Listen. Their death and destruction, death, hell, forever. Their God all sins, lies to lesser and worship. Is their stomach and their glory is in their shame by up and them. Their mind is on earthly things and people, but our citizenship's in heaven, and we really wait for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the power, 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 and enables to transform the lowly body so that they will be like His glorious body, born to Him. Amen, amen, there. That's right. And Colossians 3. We, see, we read this last week, but. He brought me back to us based on this week's. Says that you've been raised with Christ Jesus, set your hearts God's love on things above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above, not on earthy things, and people to love, serve, and worship. 
for you died, 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 and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, and you will appear with him in glory, live forever with him in his kingdom. Put to death, therefore, where it belongs to your earthly nature, sexual morality, impurity, lust, evil desires, and greed, love, and certain things, and money, and abundance, which are idolatry, because of these are things of God's is come is here. You used to walk in these ways, the ways you once lived, but now you must rid yourself of such things, these anger, rage, malice, slander, filthy language from your lips. Do not lie, lie, lie to each other, since you have taken off your old self. With this practice, the same you have put on a new, new self, which has been renewed in the knowledge, likeness of God, and the image of God of the Creator Himself. Here there is no Greek Jew, so but Christ is of all. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved by God, clothe yourself with compassion and kindness and many gentleness and patience. Bear with each other and forgive whatever grievance you may have with one another. Forgive just as the Lord God has forgiven you all these virtues put on the level of God's love with binds them all together in perfect unity. Let the peace, Galatians 5, 26, the fruit of the Spirit of Christ, rule in your hearts and God's love since as members of one body you are called to peace and be thankful. Let the true words of the Christ dwell in you richly as you teach and minister one another in all the wisdom of God as you sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your heart, God's love to God. And whatever you do, whether in words or deeds, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, giving thanks to the Lord Father through Him. Okay, wives, submit your husbands, Father, is fitting to God, Lord, husbands, everything, and this pleases the Lord. Fathers, do not need your children, or they will become discouraged, saving your mother with the rest, or do what you are doing for the favors, the heart of the Lord. Whatever you do works work in your heart, God's love is it's working for the Lord, not for people. Remember, you got to work for the Lord God, not for people. Since you know that you will receive inheritance from the Lord as a reward in heaven and His kingdom live forever, if the Lord Jesus Christ are ser serving, anyone does wrong will be paid for his wrong, not all sins, lies. To less than worship, there's no favoritism. Oh, he brought me that one. Okay, pardon me. I'm going to get all these done this week. Um, he wanted me to read this one. I don't know if I'm going to have time since I did the communion and everything this week. Pardon me. Fix our thoughts on Jesus. Hebrews 3. Dear for holy brothers and sisters who share in the heaven, heavenly calling, fix your thoughts, your minds on Jesus, the apostle, high priest, whom we confess our sins to him. He has faithful in one who appointed him. As Moses was faithful in our God's house, Jesus has been found worthy of greater honor than Moses, just as the builder of the house is greater than the house itself. For every house is built by someone, but God is the builder of everything. Moses was faithful as God's righteous, faithful servant. And now God's house testifying to what would be in the future, but Christ is faithful as the Son over God's house, and we are His house. We, if we hold on our courage and the hope of which we boast. So as the Holy Spirit says, Today you hear His voice. Do not harden heart God's love. As you did in rebelling against God, your idol sins the lies to love, serve, and worship during time of testing in the desert where your fathers tested and tried me, 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 and for 40 years saw what he did. That is why I was angry with that generation. I said their hearts to love, serve, and worship are always going straight to idol sins lies, but they have not known my true ways, so I declare an oath in my anger they shall not enter my resting place of eternal life with him see to it brothers and sisters that none of you has a sinful unbelieving heart that turns away from the living God but encourage one another daily as long as it's called today so that none of you will be hardened by sins out of lies deceitfulness we have come to share in Christ if we hold firmly to the end of confidence we had at First, as just been said, today if you hear his voice, 
do not harden your heart of God's love. If you did in the rebellion against God to love sin and worship all sin's lies, they were against God, who they were who heard and rebelled. Were they not all whom Moses, God's faithful and righteous, led out of Egypt? And with whom was he angry for 40 years? Was it not those who sin, sin, sin? That's right. Whose bodies fell in the desert? And to whom did God swear that they would never enter his rest and his kingdom eternal life? If not of those who disobeyed God. That's right, those who disobeyed God. That's right. So we see that they were not able to enter because of their unbelief. Unbelief, that's right. Amen, amen. Okay, let me read this one too. Do not love the world or anything one in the world to love them and worship. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father God is not in the person for everything in the world. The craving of the sinful person, the lust of the person's eyes, and the boast of what the person has and does comes not from God the Father, but from the world. The world and its one's desire will pass away and dies forever. But the person does will for the godless forever with him and his kingdom. And you dear children are from God and have overcome them out since lives because the one God himself, God himself, God himself who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. They are from the world and therefore speak out of sins lies from the viewpoints of the world and the world listens to them. We are from God, God, God. And whoever knows God, God, God listens to us, whoever is not from God does not listen to us. No, they don't. This is how we recognize the spirit of truth of God's and the spirit of falsehood of the devil's out of sins lies. Remember that. Amen, amen there. Okay. Pardon me, I'm trying to do this in a hurry because I made this week's long. And I got a lot going on. <clears throat> no more God himself comes first, always. Even before ourselves. To love is love is too many. Create a love as I wrote to first love and agape love that's beyond above all others. Relationship with first. Spouse, Revelation 2, 4, Jeremiah 3, 14, Isaiah 54, 5, vows to and promise family. To serve master in Luke 16, 13, 15. To work for first. King, ruler of us, to want to worship as well to God, faithful, best friend. God means the most, comes first. To please, press, vote, to, to depend on, rely on, as we totally belong to him. He's in control of us, all powers to speak and say his two words, do his right choice, way well, custom, tradition, to bear by and from. His two words, commands, two commandments, Exodus 20, grace commands, Mark 12, 20, 29, 29, 31. Laws, decrees, precepts, statues, we have God's wisdom. To live one through God, right, true, true, spiritual, godly like him, he lives in us. His spirit, his greater, first John 4, 4, 6, light and the fruit of the spirit. In Galatians 5, 5, 26, God's love, he's sure, etc., God's goodness. He fills us completely inside, all we need, satisfies us. And truly makes us have connection within him. To see and hear his true words and do his, and see his powers. Miracles of beauty us everywhere, we're we pray and give Jesus all sins lives. We love to serve and up to his cross. If died with him completely. We crossed over with Jesus from the world's graves. Darkness to death rose and saved into his life. Lighting him and living. And being reborn, re, being reborn new, purified, cleansed. And living new and better life in him. And sin no more. Now as our, he's our leader to follow. Goes for us to trust in. Trust us on me Jesus. John 14, 1. I'm trying to hurry. I don't want to miss my cam recorder. Oh my goodness. And I got to go on the riverfront. And we can do everything through Christ Jesus who gives us strength. Philippians 4, 13. As we bear on our bodies and march to Galatians 6, 17. We ask for Satan to do what Jesus said to do. Satan to do the true words and right choice for unto him. We have strong faith in God. Our strength and cures in him. Excuse me. We put on the former God in Ephesians 6, 10, 18. From the flame mirrors, that one's out since light comes at us all the time. So we say his true words are his right choice for unto God. He's our shelter, rock, salvation, our music in Him. Sing praise because we love God. In John 5, 41, 47, as we are God's righteous people, children of life, tribe, disciples. So in the judgment day, we'll inherit His kingdom, our home, treasures, possession, promise, love, life, life, and spirits forever with Him. And at the end of time, is the whole city of Mount Zion and live forever. Number two, come to your house, spouse yourself. Number three, come to four to five hours away. Number four, come to two friends. My own person, my organization, preach the gospel of the Holy Bible, God's truth, and kingdom eternal life, and his new Holy City of Mount Zion, prepare Jesus Christ to come again. And at the end of time, and help save and guide his righteous people home in his kingdom eternal life. Number two, sell people. Number three, sell make our community state a better, safe place to live. I've been out of the government, and the submissives. 
I've adopted my neighborhood, pick up trash, pick it to, and keep it a nice and peaceful neighborhood. I'm an ordained pastor. If you need my services or have ideas in our community or need prayers, you can email me. marshb 6 at gmail.com. My three-level apartment house I've started on my backyard. Broke up the bricks completely in the ground that's not under my lean-to's patio and was broken this week i'll rake up the broken bricks and let grass grow there and start on my front yard's flower garden this coming weekend anyway my new renters are moving in she paid the deposit a week and a half ago well paid the rent this weekend this coming weekend and move in okay now i want to thank area restaurants business carriers dealers doctors and nurse pastor organizations first responders etc for what you do for our community the Red my members social health osf they're, they're open monday to thursday 5 a.m to 8 p.m friday 5 a.m 7 p.m saturday 7 a.m 2 p.m sunday close to members only right now i had good workout cardio yesterday in the lazy river I'll be on the Peoria's Riverfront when it's between 60 and 85 degrees outside weather permits and there's no events or at the reception hall that's at the main entrance way. I don't know until I get there. I'll drop off my permission slip if they sign it to sign to sing at the Peoria's Courthouse once a week. Weather permits and there's no other events. I'll let you know on this side when I'll be there or on the Peoria's Riverfront to sing. Thanks, God bless for them on the site. Can download some of my songs. I preach and sing, pray and sing, and try to write a new song every week. Teas and offerings where to give a tenth in things and money. Donate. Or you are robbing God under his curse. If you don't, in Deuteronomy 14, 23, Matthew 5, 3, 8, 9. Thanks, God bless you. Do donate an offering to my preaching on the site. And Missy to and Sidra and I there on the site. There's a new clothing store in East Peoria for the poor and needy on Washington Street and Springfield Road in Washington Court Shopping Center. They're open Wednesday through Saturday. They are taking donations. Thanks, God bless you. Do donate. Jesus said in Matthew 25, 35, I needed food and a drink, and you fed me and gave me a drink. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I was sick or in prison and you invite, visit me, excuse me, for at least one of these you did for me, says Jesus. Okay, now let's pray. To our real to God, bow your heads, close your hands, close your eyes to God. God, you are real to God. We worship only you. That's why you come first, even before ourselves, as we love you first. As you first love, love does create love, loves true meaning, and agape loves you above all others. That's an undying love. Relationship with first, vows to and promise as we serve only you. You are our master to work for first. You are our faithful best friend. And we've learned your true words and do your right choice as we like we're like you, godly. Righteous spiritual, you live in us and fill us inside. You God are all we need, satisfy us and truly makes us happy as we are also your lie, L I G H T and the fruit of the spirit lives in us and your goodness. We are totally we totally belong to you. We do not belong to this world or choose it and the things and people anymore ourselves to love, serve, worship the devil's idol sins lies. We prayed and given Jesus Christ them. They have died on this cross with him. We've crossed over from the world's darks and death grave and rose saved in him into his life and light. In him been reborn you, purified, cleansed. Live a new and better life in Him and sin no more. We're living now as we obey and buy and from you, God. As we live for and through you. As we call on your name and cry to you for help from all the devil's schemes, the lies, idols, and sins that comes at us all the time. You got our strength, cures, and you. Comfort or shield, armor from Him. Protect us, O oh Lord our God. Keep us safe in you. In you. You are in total control of us and our powers us. You are our superhero, God, creator all. We need our homes with you where we truly belong in heaven, kingdom. 
treasure possessions promise and at the end of time your new holy sin mount zion live forever as we are your righteous people you provide the rain to drink the plants to grow and you take care of us thank you thank you god we pray for the ukraine from the russians war on them protect them god as we pray for all the first responders businesses restaurants delivers carriers poor and needy widows and orphans homeless shut-ins veterans soldiers sick and in pain bankrupt and employed farmers workers truckers for those that are missing the families thanks for those that are found home safely excuse me and those are going through something personal robin austin jesse my don ron john heather don and his girlfriend 26 27 year old daughters for nine, my novel that's for sale on the market the one i'm writing songs and organization are true in your hands as we are in your hands god as we are yours belong to you amen amen Okay, now if it shuts off, I apologize. I made this week so long. Okay, now be ready for Jesus' eternal judgment day, truth and kingdoms near. And the end of all things, people's near. First Peter 4 7. The, the things and people from the Holy Bible still lives in today's world. In God we trust, trust also in me, says Jesus, John 14 1. In God we trust, one nation under God. God bless America, God's faithful, righteous, and holy people are truly planting and building up God's foundation for His righteous people. Israelites, children, tribe, disciples, to those who love God first, relationship with and vows to and promise, serve, master to, work for first. To worship as a rule to God and faithful best friend, king, ruler over us, to honor, please, for us, devote to, to pay and rely on, belong to, he's in total control of us, overpowers us, to live for and through righteous, truth of spirit, so godly like him. He fills us sight, his spirit, light, and the fruit of the spirit, and his goodness, he's all we need. Satisfies, truly makes us happy. We obey by and from his true words, commands, decrees, customs, traditions to speak and say his true words and do his right choice. We're wise in him, ways, will, customs, traditions. To those who have paid and given Jesus their sins. To those who have prayed and given Jesus their sins out of his lives and have died on his cross. And crossed over from the world's darkness and death, grave and rose to living, saved into his life, light in him, living a new and better life, sin no more, to live for and through. He's the leader to follow goes for us, and we'll be completely joined together with him in his kingdom, possession, treasure, and promise, love, life, and spirit forever. And at the end of time, this new Holy Spirit, Mount Zion, live forever. Not, not, not yourself for things and people to love first, relationship with. Serve mass to work for, to worship, best friends with. Ruler over you to one or please press devoted to depend where I am belong to and control of you. Overpower to live for him by saying do live for him by a world like then dying. The darkness has you, its possession, pleasures, your own ones, desire, cravings and lusting for more. They do not satisfy to make you happy because they don't feel you inside. The idol sins lies as your leader, and you'll end dying in the graves. World's grave, dark death forever, or in the lake of fire at the end of time, when Christ Jesus comes again. And God's fire's candles lit. Emmanuel means God's with us. Okay, now if I am on my camera record, I'll sing another song. Thanks, God bless. Have a nice, peaceful week. I have a lot going on today. I have to sing on the riverfront. We're having a barbecue later on. And it's supposed to be nice basically all week. So enjoy. Have a nice and peaceful one. And remember, we are to walk like God, talk like God, and be like God in heart to live first. In mind to thank, serve, worship, say and do his true words, and do his right choice to bear by and from. Live on to him, be righteous, spiritual like him, God, as he fills us inside all we need, and belong to him to choose. So we'll make it, make it, make it in our home, 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 in his kingdom, eternal life. And at the end of time, live with him in his new holy sin, Mount Zion, live forever. Amen. Thank you. Uh, as long as you get this week's lesson, I don't know if I have time to do another song. I got a lot going on. I got to get my stuff together and, and sing on the riverfront. I'll try to sing another song. If I don't have room, I can record her um, as long as you get this week's lesson. Thank you and God bless you. Pardon me, let's get closer. I apologize. It's about ready to shut off. This week's song is called Mindset. In heart to love first. And mindset to say and do to live for and by. Got to be mindset to love first God himself. And mindset to thank, say and do, to live for and by. And to love serve and worship him as I wrote to God. Say his two words and do his right choice for and through him. Belong to him. 
He's in total control of us, overpowers us. That's forever with him. But if your mindset on yourself or things and people first to love, to say and do, to live for and by, to speak, to say and do, to live for and by, to love some worship. Anyway, belong to, overpowers you, and in control of you. You're in die forever by in front of them. Well, anyway, you get this week's lesson. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm trying to hurry here. I got to hurry and get my stuff together and go sing on the riverfront. I guess I'll walk on the riverfront. Time is near now. cemetery anyway thank you god bless you have a nice peaceful week enjoy this nicer weather thank you